Is the city of Pittsburgh headed for fiscal disaster? Yesterday, the new city controller warned of a major budget shortfall and the need for immediate action. And tonight, a city councilman is telling KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan he'll heed that warning and ask council to do what's necessary to shore up the finances. City controller Rachel Heisler sounded the alarm, warning the city is heading into a financial crisis and needs to take action now. It would have been smart to do last year, and it's smart to do today, it's smart to do tomorrow. We cannot wait because the longer you wait, the more painful a cut or a modification in spending is going to be. Yesterday, Heisler sent this letter to the mayor and council saying the city's budget is grossly underfunded and does not take into account tens of millions of dollars it stands to lose in downtown real estate assessment appeals and attacks on visiting athletes and performers, which the courts have ruled unconstitutional. Recently sworn in Councilman Bob Charland agrees. We need to be honest. And if that budget has things in it that we know are lies, then we need to do our work to make sure that we're being truthful and honest with the public here about what our situation is in, in the years to come. Charlin says he will heed Heisler's warning and ask fellow council members to reopen the budget to begin taking the necessary actions. If we need to make cuts now, if we need to uh, do measures of austerity like uh, hiring freeze, um, th those things are, are things that we need to have those conversations in, in March of 2024. Do you believe we're headed off a fiscal cliff here? No, I do not. For its part, the Ganey administration says it anticipated and budgeted for much of the decrease and can make adjustments to avoid a shortfall. As we get further into the year and we keep tabs on our quarterly spending, I think that's when we'll have a better sense. At the same time, I think there are plenty of places where, where we have the flexibility worked in. The city will be helped this year by the last cash infusion from the Biden administration's pandemic-era American Rescue Plan. But Heisler and Charlin say cuts are needed now to avoid future pain, even if the administration doesn't agree. I believe there are other council members that are ready to take this seriously. It would be nice if folks on the other side of the hall uh, were as concerned as we are. Charlin believes that other council members are heeding this call and will begin to take the necessary measures to make sure the city rights its financial ship. Reporting at City Hall, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.